Good morning from Nibiru, Ireland, and uh, hope you're keeping well today. Today is the 20th of September 2017, and Nibiru, Ireland is suffering with man flu. I don't know how I feel this bad today. Um, I suppose the way everything is going around the world, and I'm not surprised, to be honest. Um, so I watched the UN meeting yesterday, and I watched uh, the dictator dish out everything to everybody and probably create more enemies as he goes along. He hasn't created friends, to be honest. And, um, you know, this whole thing, the UN meeting, the timing of it, all the leaders are in New York, you know. I'm sure if they went down the escalator and then jumped into a lift and then took the lift down probably 300 stories into a bunker, it just happened to be convenient that they're all there three days beforehand. And I'm sure a lot of the people are probably going to be still there in a couple of days, all the leaders from around the world. Very convenient how usually on this, at this time of the year there's always a UN meeting. And for the last couple of years there's always been something about the 23rd of September. Since I started doing this I've been looking into the 23rd of September. Anyway, we've three days to go and Let's all wait now and see what's going to happen. Um, Mexico earthquake yesterday, 7.1. Uh, hurricanes, one after the other. Like, like you know, you think there'd be a gap of a, a couple of days or something like that. You know, I mean, what happened to, uh, where were we? Uh, we were up to K. You know, I mean, everything is just moving too quick. We're at Maria now. There was... Jose was meant to be wiping out New York and everything else. There was nothing about Jose. You know, that was that was hidden uh, New York meant to be on Wednesday. Nothing about that. Then all of a sudden Maria happens. Then something, something, something happens. And, you know, don't mind about the hurricanes. If you sort of move over to the right-hand side of the world where the hurricane originates from, that's where you should start joining the dots from. How the whole hurricane is manufactured, and where it's manufactured, and where it starts, and the, the, the angle of the hurricane, the way it just happens to come across uh, past the Caribbean islands. You know, just watch it. Now, I understand about hurricane season, and, you know, if it's said enough times to human beings about the hurricane season, well, then you can start adapting to it. That this time of the year, it's hurricane season, because everyone says so. Yeah, everyone says so. Okay, so every little earthquake is an earthquake uh, caused by uh, tectonic plates moving over each other, yeah? Yeah, because that's what you were taught in school, isn't it? So feed the humans that information and they'll swallow that. And then every time it happens, they their brain sort of kicks in and tells them, oh, it's an earthquake, it's an earthquake, it's an earthquake, it's an earthquake. Nothing about it could be a nuclear bomb being tested underneath under the sea somewhere. And of course, there's a tsunami because it's a nuclear bomb, obviously. You know? But where else are they going to test nuclear bombs? Do you understand? There's no point to have a nuclear, nuclear weapons if they're not testing them. Okay? North Korea comes out and shows everyone how they test them, don't they? Anyway, the way it's going at the moment, you know, I don't know. I'm going to ask myself questions about Planet X. I'm going to ask myself questions about Nibiru. Uh, the, the hurricanes, the earthquakes. I mean, we're being surrounded by so much crap that I don't know whether Mother Nature's going to sort of attack us or it's going to be created by man. <coughs> Speaking of man, I've got man flu at the moment for the last two days and I'm trying to shake it off here. But look, I'm just going to keep it short and sweet because I'm, I'm on Benelin, I'm on, you name it, um, eating strepsils every day of the week for the last couple of days anyway. Anyway, last Sunday we had a heat wave. Yeah, the All Ireland final was played in Dublin. Eighty thousand people filled that stadium. Go in and Google it. Go in and YouTube it. Watch, watch the spectacular weather and everybody in their shorts and t-shirts and out drinking outside the bars. Now watch the weather today. We're back to normal. See, you have to ask questions. That how does it go from that extreme to another extreme overnight? Money. That's why. Somebody created it somewhere along the line because millions and millions of people around the world watched that match. 
the All Ireland final, football final. Yeah, Google it, and uh, you'll see for yourself. And then watch the weather, how it changed dramatically just for that day, just for last Sunday. But of course, nobody's meant to notice that. Only the lunatic Paul in Nibiru, Ireland, because I watch it every day. Any little small change, I can see it. And I try and put it onto a video. But I'm watching it every day. If I don't do a video every day, don't worry, I'm still watching. Right? A day or two might go past where I'm working. I can't do the video. I'll, I'll do the video eventually. And then I'll try and tie in what's going on. Okay? So, I think we're at a critical point here at the moment. Okay? Yeah, the world will still spin around. Okay? It'll be hit by a few asteroids going through time. You know, it'll be hit by viruses. It'll be hit by all the other shit that goes on. It'll be hit by probably man-made viruses and all the other crap. Okay? We know that. Right? We know that. And little old species, human beings, probably get wiped out like, uh, you know, like polar bears are dying off. Like the tigers are dying off. You know, these are all species as well. Yeah. So, you know, what makes everyone think that human beings are any different? Yeah. We're animals. The same as all the other animals. Yeah. You know, we're not this, like, dominant race or anything like that. So, you know... If we get moved around the same way as a uh, pole shift on a regular basis, you know, Europe was all one once upon a time. You know, Ireland was linked up to England. Okay, you can see if you follow all the gaps on England, how Ireland was all connected. You can see around the world, if you look at different islands, how they all sort of connect to each other. How South America would connect to uh, South Africa. Do you understand? You can go in and see it. It doesn't take a genius to work it out. Go in and open up your atlas. Check it out for yourself. Times change. They've always changed. Every day the world is changing. You know? So here we go. We're just Things are going to happen a bit quicker now from now on. Okay? I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.